News Media Initiative to Developing Digital Repository from Public Contribution, a case of STPL Nepal, presented by Parvin Babu Dakal and Kavita Podel from Tribune University, Nepal. Nepal is a small landlocked country sandwiched between India and China. The natural, cultural, and historical beauty is overshadowed by low levels of development, which was further affected by the mega earthquake in 2015 which destroyed almost all the libraries of Nepal. Library formally started for the first time in 1812 in Nepal and the library policy enacted in 2007. Library and Information Service Guidelines was issued in 2013 but the implementation of acts and guidelines are not effective. New technology adoption is very low and very few libraries use digital contents and processes. There are 846 public libraries, 9 university libraries, 6 government libraries, 12 special libraries and uh, other college and school libraries. Out of them, 7 libraries are partially or fully digital but the amount of collection is very low or limited and about 265 out of them have software to automate their processes and some also offer OPEX services. There are seven major digital libraries in Nepal. Among them, OLE and Nebzol is the foremost, with comparatively large amount of collection. But their collection growth has stopped once donor support ended. Some have decent amount of collection, but collection growth halted after donor support ended in almost all of them. Some are focused toward other activities and collection of only some specific areas are available in institutional repositories. So public digital library with general collection is absolutely necessary for Nepal. The digital library project was initiated with a talk program about the status of digital library and library automation in Nepal. It was organized by Pustakalaya Waz with support from Library Development Forum and other partners. The participants expressed the need to develop an uh, open and sustainable digital repository in Nepal and a consortium was formed to execute the plan. The consortium had the goal to develop a digital repository by collecting bond digital contents and digitizing old manuscripts. Technical, financial and professional support was provided by the members of the consortium. Different forums and news media were extensively used for policy advocacy and to create whim about digital repository. Key institutional partners in the consortium. The foremost is the news media Pustakale Awaz, which translates to Voice of Library in English. It is the monthly magazine published since February 2008 and circulated to almost 40% of the libraries in Nepal and almost all of the influential libraries and policymakers. As the name suggests, it is involved in describing journaling and creating the general awareness about the issues of libraries it has been involved in policy advocacy for the development of libraries, motivating librarians and li libraries by publishing articles about current trends, developments, technology, etc. Library Development Forum is not-for-profit, non-government organization. It is the forum of library enthusiasts, volunteers, and professionals which work for the development of libraries. It has started and supported many libraries in Nepal. It has been involved in advocating the library development and library movement since a very long time. Sagarmatha Digital Public Library was established in 1998 by Library Development Forum. It was renamed Sagarmatha Digital Public Library in 2014 to mark the start of digital library service. Squad of Technical Mind is the private company that develops software for library automation. It has almost 75% of the market share of library automation in Nepal. The Libra Digital Library System developed by this organization is used in our project. It provided free software customizations and other technical help for the project. The Sagarmatha Public Library was upgraded to Sagarmatha Digital Public Library in 2014 by the consortium of professionals, stakeholders and the volunteers. This paper describes how it was upgraded. The news media Pustakalaya was, was one of the key partners of the project which published articles to motivate the stakeholders and public about the digital library and partnered with other institutions for the execution of the plan. Social awareness and advocacy by the project. 
Many issues of Pustakale Awaz featured digital library theme and articles, and selected news were also run in other news media. Campaign named Donate a Digital Content was run to collect bond digital contents, and workshops and trainings conducted about creating, managing, and building digital collection. Actions were taken for motivating public about the contribution. For that, request letters were sent to publishers, writers, academic institutions, government, and other organizations. Interaction programs and meetings with groups having large source of documents were also held, and public motivation for donation of the contents were made. Following steps were taken for the creation of digital repository. The committees were formed, then budgeting and plans were made, uh, physical infrastructures were arranged, the digital library software were, was selected, and preliminary collection was gathered from the members. The committees that were formed were News Advocacy Committee, which created the news for motivation, advocacy, and call for the document donation, the material selection committee, which selected the contents to be included in the digital library, technical committee, which installed, set up, and run the digital library system, volunteer selection and mobilization committee to select and train volunteers, motivating and mobilizing the volunteers, and the curating committee, which assigned proper taxonomies to the document and generate metadata, convert file format, etc. This project did not have enough resources to establish a full-fledged digital library and this is a volunteer-based project with public contribution, so it could be completed in very low cost. The library development forum raised around uh, $2,200 and it had total expenditure of around $3,000 over the two years. Most physical infrastructure were obtained free as donations, office space, furniture, internet connection, server and orchestration computers, software, scanner, and advertising all were provided free by the stakeholders and donors. Calibri software was most popular in Nepal for managing personal digital collection, so the software we used needed to support easy data migration from Calibri. Other necessities were local customization, free or open source, web-based, secure, user-friendly, etc. The requirement for user-friendliness uh, are keyword harvester, automatic keyword harvester uh, with a book recommender according to the user re reading history. One of the key stakeholders of the program, Square of Technical Mind, offered to provide Libra Digital Library Solution free of cost and they also published it in GitHub and made it open source and customized especially for the project. After the software was installed, the preliminary collection was developed. Around 4000 digital collections were first gathered from the individuals and institutional members of the consortium and the selection committee filtered and removed almost half of the books. There were three types of collection that we plan to use. Till now only text and text data are collected and different system for including photograph is being made. We also had a plan to include audio and video but the plan has been cancelled due to the high resource requirement for video and audio. Selection criteria for the contents. The content should be appropriate and of educational or literary quality or it has some cultural or historical value. The language of the collection must be Nepali, English, Sanskrit, Hindi or other local languages used in Nepal. The place of preparation or publication should be related to Nepal or Asia or it could conform to other criteria. The Format should be in standard format and accessible by most of the devices. And the content should not be passport protected or encrypted. And the collection must be free and no restriction for full access. 
there are two sources of documents bond digital and digitized documents for the bond digital contents we request from academic institutions other authors and publishers and other organizations and we also have digitized some contents most of the materials were collected from universities and collected colleges government and non government organizations were the second highest contributor followed by individuals authors and publishers digitization was another big issue where we have to identify the materials decide degree to which we digitize the material and there are other ownership issues and copyright issues only the copyleft materials were selected for the digitization and we used four steps for the digitization they are scanning or photographing if the bindings could be removed then we used high speed scanner for scanning otherwise we used low tech method of photographing the books which is described in the following slide then the primary investigation and correction of the scan materials were done where we cropped the borders rotated pages appropriately and ordered the page numbers then optical character recognition through google docs ocr in this step the english script could be ocr very easily but other scripts like devnagari scripts and ranjana script which is mostly found in nepal could not be ocr very effectively then the text was edited the volunteers helped in correcting the ocr text the at the last we created the metadata the detailed metadata and table of contents of the books were included as every text could not be ocr in nepalese and other scripts we did not use very high tech method for digitization we took photograph with a 5 megapixel camera phone it was placed over a cubic wooden frame box which was made with flat bottom and top with glass having a slot where camera could look below at the document pages of the book was kept straight by using clips or hands for the books whose binding could be separated it was fed to high speed scanner scanned images edited in bulk then uploaded to google drive images converted to text by opening as google document converted text edited and compiled as the new book there were altogether over 8500 books over the two years and more than 70% of the collection is from public contribution limitations and problems the major limitation is economic constraint which brings about almost all other problems the foremost is economic constraint we had total expenditure of around 3000 dollars over 2 years we had low online presence due to low network bandwidth nepal had up to 18 hours of load shedding per day during dry season so we had problem of power backup full time it manpower is very expensive and rare in nepal there is low expertise of most of the volunteers so that is also a problem the quality contents could not be found as new editions are not free and quality contents are not free we had to accept donations from others for hardware and software so we could not choose the high end hardware and we had to use low end hardware and software which will be problem in the future as the user base grows and one of the other problem is disintegrating members of the consortium the trained volunteers and other members leave the consortium when they get other opportunities some of the solutions employed for fighting the problem sustainable power sources like solar is very expensive to install so we have managed three places with different load shedding schedule around our place 
where volunteers can go to work according to the schedule. Full time IT manpower could not be afforded, so a skilled IT volunteer monitors the server through remote desktop from his place. There is low level of skill in the staff and volunteers, so we train every volunteer at first to prepare them to work. We use donated low end hardware and open source software. The hardware will not be able to support the system after the user base grows, so it should be replaced. There is another problem of disintegrating members of the consortium. We employ new volunteers and professional members are added regularly to replace them. From our experience of building the digital repository, we can say that it requires a good amount of budget, high-tech infrastructure, skilled manpower, good team and constant interest and input from the stakeholders. The place where repository is built should be the initiating entity. It will be easier to collect the resources sustainably in low cost with public contribution. The role of news media in creating awareness about the digital library and advocating and motivating stakeholders to help was one of the most prominent success factors in our case. The joint efforts of news media and other stakeholders should be used to advocate government and other agencies to allocate long-term grants. Libraries should try to partner with as many stakeholder entities as possible so that they do not need to depend upon any single donor. Thank you.